This is your host, Pastor Enoch Perry. Welcome to The Journey. This is a show where we profile prominent South Africans who have made it in life against all odds. And today on the show, I have uh, uh, Mr. Cabello. Welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Cabello, where did this great journey start? Uh, Pastor Enoch, this great journey started in, in Soweto. And uh, I, I always enjoy highlighting the Soweto part because mm. I, I minister to a lot of young people, speak to a lot of young people in schools and different settings. And it's always important for us to tell them where we come from because it shows that whatever has been possible in my life mm. is mm. possible in their lives if, 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 if they apply the same principles Absolutely. they apply. Absolutely. Where you come from doesn't determine where, 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 mm. where you end up. Uh, I was born in Paraguanas Hospital uh, in 1976. Mm. Uh, you know, we celebrated the, you know, the, the 16th of June, 1976 uprising. Wow. And wow. whenever it comes up, I always think of my mother as this pregnant young lady <laughs> when there was a lot of school riots, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Um, but then I grew up uh, in Pimville, uh, and then we later moved to Deep Kloof. When people ask me where I'm from today, I always say I'm from Deep Blue because okay. Deep Blue is where, you know, I cut my teeth on the street, mm. learned, mm. you know, learned about girls, learned mm. about yeah, gangsters, learned about just life in, mm. in, 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 in general and life in Soweto, you know. Uh, I mean, life in Soweto then is, was totally different to what we see now, Absolutely. you know. Um, I, I'm from a family of five. I'm the eldest of three siblings. I got a younger sister, younger brother, Katleho, and a younger sister, Malebu. Mm, mm. Uh, my dad unfortunately passed away in 2003. Well, may he so rest in peace. Thank you. And uh, mm. I'm just grateful that my, my dad, passed, when he passed on, he, he got to see me become the man mm. that I am now. Mm. And he also got to see me appreciate the life that he spoke to me in, 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 in my life. Because... I always think as, as young men, you know, growing up, there's always that tension between our fathers mm, and, mm. And, and, and ourselves. And uh, it's amazing how the older I get, the wiser my, 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 my father has become, mm. you know. I, don't, I didn't necessarily come from a rich background. I, mm. I, I, we weren't rich at all, but I, I even say to my mother now, I'm like, I don't know how you took three children to private schools, mm. My mother was a teacher. Mm, mm. My father was uh, worked at Liberty Life as an insurance broker. Okay. And he, I mean, those salaries, especially yeah, in the eighties yeah, yeah, and early nineties, yeah. they weren't a lot, mm, you know. Mm, mm. Uh, I, I still need to sit down with her and actually ask her, how mm. did you do it? How possible was that? Yes. How did you do it? Mm. You know, you fed us, you took us to these schools, you gave us the life that we had, and. I know that I have so much more than my mother mm. now, mm. but what she did was, was a miracle. Absolutely. You know, my parents were hardworking. My parents instilled a, a discipline. My parents' dream was for me to become an academic. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, I let them down. <laughs> I ended up in the music business. Okay. Uh, I was. A, I'm a big sports fan. I'm a big music fan. So for me. When I left high school, I was either going to become a Springbok rugby player mm. or I was going to end up in the music business. Wow, wow. Uh, but these days, the older I get, I just think, I wish I'd actually listened to my parents, mm, especially mm. about, you know, focusing on education. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, I was blessed to have succeeded in the music business, but I realized the importance of, 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 of education. Mm, 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 mm. Um, it's never too late to start to start of learning course. anyway. Yes, yes. You yes. know, um, so I'm, I'm actually am planning to go back to uh, school mm. and uh, you know further my studies. Good luck. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> no, definitely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, life in Soweto was. Um, uh, I mean, it was interesting to say the least. Mm, um, mm. Challenges. I'm just very fortunate as well that I didn't end up in the life that some of my friends ended up mm, because mm. you know when you when you're around certain company, it's 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 it's, it's possible for you to 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 end up um, in in jail or in, mm, in an institution mm, or, mm, or, 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 or or dead. Mm, mm, um, mm. So I was very fortunate that my parents gave me the life that I had. Uh, mm. I went to Mayfair Convent Primary School uh, from 1983 to 1989. And then I went to Sacred Heart College in uh, 1990 for one year. 
And then I finished my high school in at St. Stephen's College in, in, in Randburg. Wow, wow. Yeah. This is powerful. You know, this shows that uh, your upbringing has been uh, uh, an ordinary upbringing. Yes. And uh, any any child out there can relate to it. And, Very and, ordinary. And what I want to say to the viewers out there that, uh, you know, God knows your situation. God knows what is happening in your family. And you might be... Uh, uh, living in the rural areas or maybe in the urban areas our story starts the same way mm. all you just have to do is uh, keep on uh, trusting the lord put your faith in the lord the bible says in jeremiah 29 verse 11 i know the plans i have for you says the lord we are going to take a music break and when we come back more about the teenagehood of uh, cabello stay tuned Welcome back. I'm in conversation uh, with uh, Cabello, talking about his journey. Cabello, are your teenagehood? Where did you spend your teenagehood? How was it like? Um, hey, you know, being a teenager is very, very difficult. You know, uh, and I guess even both as a male and a female, mm. with your hormones now starting to, mm. you know, be, you know, get you into all sorts of. Uh, feelings and emotions mm. and growing up and trying to find yourself so i don't look back too fondly as my uh, uh, on my life as a teenager mm. it's because it's just such a very that transition period you know you're not young anymore mm -hmm. but you're not an adult anymore absolutely you know yeah. You, yeah. you you have the sense of wanting to be an adult but you know you're not a child anymore yeah. so yeah. it's a very yeah. very strange place um and i guess school was a form of escape Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sports was a big form of 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 of, of escape, um, and and uh, and teenagers go through a lot. I mean, there's a lot of pressure that gets mm -hmm. put into mm -hmm. teenagers to perform mm -hmm. at high school. So you know, academics at the school that I went to was a was a big thing. Mm -hmm. You know, achieving was a, a really big thing. So it you know it le left me wondering like, oh, am, you know, am I ever going to make it in mm -hmm. life? You know, some mm -hmm. because sometimes, especially. Uh, my later high school years, okay. when I guess sports started to take preference more than academics, and then mm. you wonder, Esh, am I going to make it in life? You know, mm -mm. Uh, what is what is going to become of me? And I just want to encourage teenagers out there that you know what, uh, it's just a turbulent phase, and if you just hang on, mm -mm. <laughs> you just hang on for mm -mm. dear life, mm -mm. it's all going to wow. smooth out mm -mm. after a while because it's a very very challenging mm -mm. time. Mm. Uh, you know, I remember the school that I went to at Sacred Heart College, it was a co-ed school. Mm. So now you you in school with girls. Mm. Mm. Uh, 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 and as it goes in a co-ed school, it becomes more than just about the academics. It becomes about who's dating mm. who mm. and who's your girlfriend. What did you get for Valentine's Day? Mm. So there's mm. just so many... There was just so many pressures. I just mm. look back on my teenage years as as years of just this, uh, 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 just being inundated with pressure. Mm. Mm. Um, uh, but like I said, you know, it 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 it, it all subsides. You know, mm. Mm. Um, I I guess my sport, my love for sport. I played tennis. Okay. Uh, I ran. Uh, I used to row. I played squash. And wow. I was and, and I and I was a rugby player as mm. well. So I just focused on sports, mm, mm. Um, especially when I went to St. Stephen's College, which was a boys' school. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, a boys' school at least it's like you don't you, all you do is focus on your schoolwork and your sports. Absolutely, there's no girls to you know <laughs> for distractions. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. mean, I take my hat off to guys who can focus in in co-ed schools where there's where there's girls, girls all the yeah, time. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. So thank God that my mother took me from uh, Sacred Heart and she took me to St. Stephen's College, you know, mm. where it was just a boys' school. I was at body, I was at the boarding house. Mm, I mm. stayed at the boarding house, and um, it allowed me to also become a man on mm. my own. You mm. know, that really has helped me later on in life because I've been able to stand on my own from a really, really young age. Mm, you know, mm. so I'm really grateful for 
you know, my, my, my parents having done that, you know, and I also, I'm a big advocate for boarding school even yeah, today because yeah, the individual yeah. gets to stand on their own two mm, feet mm. from a really young age and they get to fend for themselves, mm, you know, from mm. a really young age. Yes, there's still support from home, mm. but you get to fend for yourself. And um, I guess, uh, 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 um, you know, fast forward to 1993, when I was in standard eight, in fact, nine, in fact, 1990, mm. uh, when I went to 1991, sorry, when I went to St. Stephen's College, that's where I met uh, Dukulo, uh, okay. Shabalala. Mm. 1992, uh, Zwai Bala came to St. Stephen's, so that was the birth of TKZ. Okay. So wow. along <laughs> the sports side, there was also this music dream that started wow. in high school with these two. Uh, with these two young men, mm, um, mm, mm, you know, mm. when I was in standard eight, which is now grade 10, mm, you mm. know, the dream of one day making it big started in high school. Wow. You know? So we were very wow. fortunate to, to when we got to the music industry, we already had a very strong bond, mm. uh, a very strong brotherhood, you know, because you need that. It's Absolutely. Going into the... Okay, no. Before before we go into that, yes. Uh, 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 how was uh, uh, the the Bible at yes. this level in life influencing your life? Right now, my relationship with God. The only person who taught me the fear of God was my grandmother. Okay. My grandmother, from a really really young age, was the one who was consistent about uh, about the fear of God. Mm -hmm. And I think a very important experience that I had with my grandmother, my grandmother used to drink mm -hmm. and abuse alcohol. She used to smoke. Mm -hmm. I remember the day my grandmother stopped drinking and stopped smoking and just stopped doing all those things. And in hindsight, I feel she had an encounter with the Lord. Yeah. From then on was my grandmother's life changed drastically. So I have a reference of how my grandmother used to be before Christ and I have a reference of how my grandmother used to be after, after she Christ. So Christ. she was the one consistent person who taught me about the fear of God. Mm. So, so throughout my pri primary school life, my high school life, I always knew mm. the fear of God. Mm. I didn't have a relationship with God, didn't have a relationship with Christ Jesus. I mean, I went to Mayfair Convent is a Catholic school. Mm, mm. Sacred Heart is a Methodist school. Mm. St. Stephen's is a Methodist school. Wow, wow. So, so singing the word uh, uh, um, where the chaplain will also speak the word to us, even though I didn't understand what was going on, mm, but mm. the presence of God and the word of God was always around me somehow. Mm. But I didn't connect, uh, you know, I didn't connect the word with God himself. Mm. So... I always had the fear of God. I always knew that there was a there was a greater being, mm. you know, and uh, and I've since learned that in the Word it says the fear the begin the fear of God is the beginning Absolutely. of all wisdom. Absolutely. And I think it's that fear. And you know, I want to you know, I also want to explain that fear. That fear is also not a, a trembling fear. Mm, it's mm. A reverential respect. Mm. You know, so I've always had this reverential respect of 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 a higher power. And mm. I think just that fear alone was the beginning of the wisdom to even if I got out of control, I wouldn't go too far because I always had this reverential respect of, of, of a higher being. Wow. Um, but I didn't take my relationship with God seriously. Nothing happened. Mm. You know, I went, just went through the motions of high school mm. and then, um, you know, got to matric. Uh, didn't know what was going to become of my life. Uh, you know, Tukulo had gone to another school. Zwai had moved overseas. Mm. He had finished matric because he was one standard above mm. us. Mm. Mm. And then um, after school, mm. I went to, I was an exchange student. I went to Florida in, in the United States for a short-term exchange program. Mm. Mm. And then when I came back, that's when I hooked up with uh, 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 Tukulo and Zwai. Wow. And then that's when we started a uh, a TKZ and got into the into the uh, music industry. Powerful, mm. powerful. You know, uh, I, I love the scripture which Kabelo quoted that uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the Bible says the righteous man is commanded, or rather the steps of a righteous man are commanded by God. Amen. Next week, we'll continue looking at the birth of TKZ. God bless you and stay blessed.